Yeah, I gotta keep it real about Navy boot camp. And this is related to Kiara Evans, the the young lady who just died during her last PRT, right before she graduated. And this is what I didn't state in the, the last video. Well, I did kind of state it somewhat. But, um, she, this Kiara Grant died. I also had a friend, I also got a close friend of mine. Her cousin died, this is like years ago, maybe 15 years ago. I want to say it was like Air Force or Army boot camp. Uh, during the run, she died. She was running, stopped running, and sat down. And they say you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to be running. And it's the moment you're done running, uh, you sit down. Like, you're not supposed to do that. Um, I guess it closed off the blood flow or something to your heart. And put too much pressure on the heart, and she died. Um, I don't know exactly why this girl died, but um, basically, this is the truth about Navy boot camp concerning PT. And... Not just PT, but PT at Freedom Hall, which is where uh, you do a lot of your PT at. And uh, at Freedom Hall, I want to say it's like three stories high from what I can remember. But it's so difficult to breathe at Freedom Hall because the doors are closed and the windows are never open. I struggle with getting air I swear it's just I swear you're just breathing in carbon dioxide the entire time like I because I never I always I, I know I'm from Florida and the climate is different in Chicago but I was like there's no way I'm struggling to run these laps like I'm struggling breathing running these laps like that has never happened and so one day I like was in there and I like looked around and noticed none of the, none of the windows are open and I'm like, there's no air getting in. The only air that gets in there is when you walk through the door and the door is closing right behind you. And and uh also in our uh at our ship, in our compartment, the windows were never open in there either. Like the windows didn't open the entire time we were there. And people stay sick all the time. Every, it's, it's like, there's a hundred people in there, probably 60% of those people are sick. Which means a hundred percent of those people are sick because you got that many people sick around you, you're sick on some level. Um, you're not you're not doing too good on some level. Either. So, me, I was sick from the moment I got there to the day I left and a few weeks into A school. You know, I started to get better. But I was sick the entire time. And that's everybody so you're in your compartment everyone's sick and they're not opening the windows those germs are just staying in there the entire fucking time and they should spray Lysol but I mean what the I mean what the fuck is that doing you know what I'm saying it's like that shit is overpowered by everybody's germs up in here like and we got a shower together so you got people in the shower coughing even if they're not coughing, they're still sick too. You got airborne germ diseases and shit floating around. And now we're all in the shower together. At butt ass naked. Like, so and we're just living on top of each other the entire time. We're going in and out of other ships with other sick people. This place, that that place is like it's like you may say oh it's not it's, it's not marine boot camp but nonetheless it's fucking boot camp you got people coming from all over the fucking planet to join the navy um you know all different types of germs people are sick people are throwing up people are fainting like that place is really no place to be i honestly believe they need to change how they do certain things um, when it comes to boot camp, uh, I mean, hell, if you would have just opened the windows, like me, whenever I'm sick, I need to go outside and breathe some fucking fresh air. 
and it, it makes me feel a lot better. Um, like if you just open the goddamn windows, you know, you know, air out some of those germs. If you go to Freedom Hall, open the windows, get some air in there. Like that place is horrible. Like it's horrible. Um, the place that I loved the most was fucking dental. Like, and it was just clean up in there. <laughs> but yeah, like I'd be at dental, you know, they might be doing some work in my mouth, and it's like I have to everything in me. I have to take everything in me, not to cough on the damn dentist. You know, and it's like I have to tell them to stop so I can cough. Like, it's horrible. It's horrible. So they really need to change how they do things uh, when it pertains to health. Um, you know, they're trying to give everybody these vaccines and everything. But, I mean, what good are the vaccines if everybody's sick? Everybody's sick. So that's the truth about boot camp. So... If you're there, get ready. You're going to be sick. I'm sorry. Maybe you're lucky enough to be one of those people who just so happen to get, don't happen to get sick or just don't get it that bad. But pretty much, you're going to be sick. And you're going to be running while you're sick. You're going to be doing push-ups while you're sick. You're going to be PTing as, while you're sick. And if you're sick and PTing, you're not performing at 100%. So... You know, it's going to take pure willpower to get through PT. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. So, that's what it is. And I wish y'all good luck at boot camp. I'm out.